Hi, Natasha McLaughlin Chesson here, registered dietitian specialized in sports and performance and owner of NMC Nutrition. As you know, it's my role to present unbiased scientific information and facts, and I've been getting questions a lot about dairy. So today we're going to talk about the facts about dairy. One of the questions I get often is about inflammation. So no, dairy is not inflammatory in itself. That being said, some items such as cream, for example, may be inflammatory because of its saturated fat content, whereas chocolate milk may be slightly more inflammatory if an athlete's not burning it off in time because of the high sugar content. Sugar ends up causing blood sugar spikes, which can uh, increase risk for inflammation. When we talk about white milk, when we talk about cottage cheese, plain Greek yogurt, Studies show, in fact, that because of the protein content and the low sugar content, they can, in fact, help reduce inflammation if they're combined with fruit, for example, because many people will consume fruit by itself, which will cause a blood sugar spike and can increase inflammation, whereas if it's combined with the cottage cheese, with the Greek yogurt, the fact that the blood sugar will not spike as much can reduce inflammation risk. And so, we want to remember that they also contain, these dairy products also contain whey and casein, which as athletes know, are great protein sources for recovery. Now, athletes can be healthy with no dairy consumption and, and they can even perform at very elite levels. And I've had many of those athletes as clients and they did very well with soy as a replacement option. One of the questions I get often is about allergies and intolerance, and, and there seems to be a lot of confusion there, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, allergies in dairy after the age of five is quite rare. Symptoms tend to be vomiting, hives, um, swelling of the lips, blood in the stool, and so these people who have allergies to dairy, and as I've mentioned, uh, we're very fortunate that usually by the age of five, this has grown out. Uh, so people grow out of this type of allergy, but these people have to avoid anything that could contain traces of dairy. And we're talking about an allergy, so it's to the protein, the whey and the casein. Now, if someone is having a lactose intolerance, this means that they have an intolerance to dairy and it's because of the carb in the dairy. The lactose is the carb. So an allergy is usually to the protein and an intolerance would be to the carb. Now these types of symptoms are along the lines of gas, bloating, um, cramping, sometimes a little bit of loose stool. And in some instances it's more severe than in other people. So in this case, people don't necessarily have to avoid the food completely. They don't have to avoid dairy, but they have a limited amount of enzymes for the digestion of the lactose. And so they may be able to consume cheese and yogurt, but they may start feeling symptoms if they're having, for example, milk or ice cream, which contains a lot more lactose. In these instances, people may just choose to stick with the lower lactose options or even choose either a lactose-free dairy or a soy. I don't usually recommend switching a dairy for let's say almond beverage or coconut beverage because they don't have the protein. So if you're choosing that as an option for your calcium source, you should be adding a different protein additionally to make up for the missing protein. These recommendations are not for self-diagnosis. I do not recommend that you diagnose yourself with a dairy or allergy or, or an intolerance. If you believe you have either of these or if you have any of these symptoms, I do suggest you consult with your physician. Je vous encourage de vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube si vous aimez ces vidéos et aussi de m'envoyer vos recommandations euh, de sujets, vos, vos sujets d'intérêt afin que je puisse continuer à faire ces vidéos ici avec euh, des informations qui vous sont pertinentes. So thanks again everyone and please remember nutrition is a science, not an opinion.